Welcome back, Wolfpack. Verlus here, and this is how to use Kingdra. Kingdra's stats, really, really surprisingly, absurdly balanced. That four stats are 95, 85 for the speed and 75 for the hit points, and you can make it work pretty well offensively and speedily as a sweeper. Looking at typing Water Dragon. That's a first. So if you look at it, you know, before Fairy Typing, it was only weak against Dragon, which I think was pretty strong. Then we also have decent amount of resistances, a lot of neutral hits, but overall the Pokemon is pretty solid. But it doesn't it doesn't have anything that really pushes it over the edge though. If you look at it, there's no absurd offense or defensive stat or any kind of speed that it can use. So you really have to play it well to make it work best in battle. And let's look at some of the sets. So pretty much Kingdra is going to be just a main double battle Pokemon that when the metagame favors rain, you're going to see a lot of Kingdra. That Kingdra has so much power and rain because of its Swift Swim ability. You give it a Life Orb, you give it Choice Specs, you can run it a lot of hit point bulk, mostly special attack, modest nature, decent amount of speed, and nothing's going to catch you. That naturally you're just going to outspeed pretty much everything in, unless they have some kind of stat boost in them that without Scarf or other form of speed boosting, you're going to have the advantage and a huge amount of damage backing it. That Surf is going to get boosted by rain and hit both of your opponent's Pokemon in doubles, as well as making use of your own. Pretty much people would like to go with like that Water Absorb, get some extra tankiness and durability while having Kingdra just sweep the field. Draco Meteor is going to be your one hit finish on a lot of Pokemon and Ice Beam for those other Dragon coverage. After that, you know, there's a lot of things that King Kingdra can make with this. You can also run it with Hydro Pump. I don't recommend it personally just because of the accuracy, but I could see it in singles if you can get a uh, Rain Dance set up in singles or Damp Rock, Drizzle Pokemon. You can get a lot of strength in Kingdra. It has a lot of one hit, just Draco Meteor, Hydro Pump, Ice Beam, good amount of coverage on that, and you can really just slam into your opponent with that. After that, people can run Dragon Dance Chesto Resto. It's one of the more crazier sets I've seen at tournaments and online that people will bring. And you go with a lot of hit point bulk, go with a lot of attack, and then you just go for that Dragon Dance. Dragon Dance once, Dragon Dance twice, Chesto Resto it up, and now you're ready to sweep from there. You know, Dragon Dance, Rest, Dragon Dance, and now you're going to be faster than everyone. So Waterfall Outrage, Waterfall, Coverage, Outrage, Stab, huge amounts of hits coming, and a lot of damage because your attack is going to be doubled, and you're going to have a lot. Now the ability is where it gets tricky. Swift Swim can work with this idea. But if you're doing that, then you don't really need the Dragon Dance as much. But Sniper also pretty much makes it to where that you have a two point or 6.25 chance of hitting harder. And that could make or break a game depending on what level you're on. So that's what we have to deal with. And then last up, we have Sniper Kingdra. Kind of a gimmicky set that while people really do want to make fun of its ability and it can be really fun to use, it's really hard to set up that you either have Kingdra bring its own focus energy. So the idea is... Critical hits do 50% more damage, which means they do 2.25 times the damage. Focus energy gives you a critical hit ratio of 2. Scope lens adds 1 to that. Critical hit ratio of 3 means you're 100% critting, which means, hey, Draco Meteor doesn't matter anymore because it ignores the stat drops. So Draco Meteor is going to be up all the time. Surf is going to be good coverage. Ice Beam is going to be good damage. And it's going to work from there. I but the problem is you're going to become more of a wall-breaking Pokemon. That special attack is going to be really good to have, and you're going to be doing a lot of damage. But if the opponent outspeeds you, it's kind of for it's kind of a waste. So I was thinking about mixing this up. We go with agility. All right, guys, hold on to your hats with this one. We go back down to that magical sweet spot on the 56. We put some hit point bulk, and then we go Drift Blim. Drift Blim has Focus Energy and Baton Pass. So Drift Blim, a great Pokemon to set up Sniper, a great Pokemon to set up like any kind of Super Luck with that Focus Energy. And now you're going to be critting all the time. You can get an Evasion Boost with that Minimize. You can get some Stockpiles in there. And now Kingdra's, Kingdra's just going to be a beast that you're putting in defenses. You're putting in potential Evasion. And you're going to crit every time. So you're going to be a very frustrating Pokemon to knock out while being very fast. So overall... Kingdra's home is in doubles. It's going to be a rain Pokemon. That's where it lives, and you can make it work elsewhere if you really want to, so it can be strong. It takes a little bit of setup to go because its stats are kind of low, but overall, good Pokemon, and that's how you use Kingdra.